the ordinary people, ordinary people who are not psychopaths, you see, have emotions and empathy for other people. Their survival capabilities need empathy for others because if you take care of others, then hopefully when, it's, when you're down and out or whatever, they take care of you. That's how empathy works. It's a survival mechanism for everyone. Whereas a psychopath can only cooperate with other psychopaths when they're all riding on top in a system which they control and set up and own basically but they're terrified of the mob always as old Huxley said the reason that old Rome fell the ancient uh, elite of Rome they didn't fall by the way they all moved out before it fell the, the elite always move out before it falls and build an empire elsewhere that's another story altogether but Huxley said that the reason it fell was because they couldn't supply enough bread and circuses for the people you see they hate the people they, just, they, they are disgusted at, at people now they know the ordinary people are different from themselves being psychopaths they're, they know they're different from the ordinary people they kind of study us like um, a predator would study its prey that's why they put out so much money long before they started studying insects and bugs and, and how worms regenerate themselves and all the stuff were flooded with they were studying mankind humankind both male and female because once they knew the nature and the, the instincts the drives of people they could manipulate them and they certainly have always manipulated them even the need for meeting or looking for something out there the spiritual thing that people crave for in every generation for thousands of years they tend to either give us the ones to follow or they distort something which is original in order to control the rest well they themselves don't fall for what they call these superstitions they have their own inner belief and they do believe that they are gods if you understand what a god is what is a god a god is something which has immense power over everything it doesn't have to be supreme in the ancient world there were many gods and there were layers of gods the degreed system of gods just like masonry and that's why they created secret societies to sift out the ones with a bit of brains but they also had to be psychopathic they can get up there and abuse the ones below so they call the ones below and all the rest of the public the profane those in the darkness those who have swallowed the reality that's been presented to them actually instilled in them by the conditioning process they are disgusted with ordinary people and they laugh and sneer and years after they pull something off which is a, on a big grand scale they have a technique in the high occult masonry of the revelation of the method where they'll pick one of their authors to tell us yes it was done this way you're right it happened how clever yada yada and we're all stunned it casts a spell over us like the original act in itself did like Jack the Ripper for instance it casts a spell over people this, this strange occultic type of, of murder that was going on in London with all the Masonic emblems left on the walls and even the manner of the disemboweling as part of the Masonic ceremony if they ever disclose the secrets <laughs> and a hundred years later Scotland Yard comes out and tells us the truth they knew who it was it was one of their own who worked for Queen Victoria and the movie From Hell goes into that um, pretty factually in fact so they can keep anything secret for a hundred years or as long as they wish one day they'll come out and tell the public probably when we're all brain chipped and we can't think at all anymore yes we did kill John F. Kennedy because of yada 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 but we live in 
quite the Mickey Mouse world almost of make-believe because it is thought out every generation's thinking and all the major things they will experience uh, is thought out long before they were born because the world is one giant business and they lay their plans for the business way way in advance empire building is just corporate takeover until you have the world corporation which we have already by the way at the top there are no independent corporations competing with each other we have the illusion of it so the think tanks sit and say my goodness what could this this peasants what could the, the peasants do next and they bring in big professors of philosophy and history the Quigleys, the Toynbees, and all the rest of them. And they go through all the scenarios that happened in the past, and could they happen again? Formulas, because everything you see, according to them, is a formula in society, as it was a natural ebb and flow of things. So if they can see how the flow is coming along, they can predict what will happen next. This is how they, they do it. They think it's scientific. And therefore they plan for it, but they also condition the population growing up as to what to expect in their lifetime, how to react to it, and how to obey it, their competition. That's the real world. That's the real world we live in.